everyone, welcome back to um, the second video I've done. My first video was like a year ago. So I'd say it's pretty long, but um, now I have some new figures that I'll be unboxing because I got a new phone, so it should at least be a little bit of better quality. So we are going to review the Scorpius Rex Danger Pack. Now, I have did a new setup so I, so I can compare things. Can do that. So we're going to start off with the gyrosphere. It is a one seated. There is a way to like take it off and open it. So if you can see the little gray thing, if you do it gently enough, it can come off. And the top is pretty much just your usual gyrosphere. Um another gyrosphere is a two seater with like um a little bit of glass cracked. So now we're gonna look at the inside. Um, so the inside is, um, it has two little joysticks. The seat can like go wherever. Let's see, And then it, when it like rolls, it stays with the, with the beat. Um, it got these things and then the seat can pretty much fit anyone. Um, and yeah, that's that one. There's a little thing on here. You can see that I don't I don't know why that's there. All right, so that's the gyrosphere done. Now we're gonna go on to Kenji. Now Kenji is one of the Cretaceous people. He is in this book, as you can see him. He's right next to Darius. Um. So he has his typical black hair pointing up. He has black eyes you can see that um his head can do a 360 as you can see um his arms can go all the way around his elbow can go like that his arms can go out and then they can go like that same with his knees and legs um, his knee can go up like that, and they can go all the way around. When you go like this, it's a little bit weird. It just doesn't look right. And if you compare it to another figure I have, which is the John Hammond, I got this from the Raptor set. Um, gotta fix him. Okay. So here he is next to him. He's a little bit taller since John is a little bit older. Oh, so I'm gonna put him back over there. And I'm gonna compare him to a raptor. This he's pretty much taller, but that's because the raptor isn't like standing up like this. And we'll review some other stuff some some other time because now I've learned how to do the videos. So yeah. He also has his typical red shoes with shoelaces usually and now we're done with Kenji and now the big bad guy the Scorpius Rex this is the other one I will do the uh, the other Scorpius Rex when I get it now this one is a little bit different now we're gonna start off with the head now as you can see the head is the typical Scorpius Rex so um, its eyes are orange the T-Rexes are like yellow and then the teeth are like jagged and like they go in place so if you can see they like line up and its neck can go down it's like biting kenji and up it can go like this go all the way around it's a little bit weird and now moving on to the arms the arms can, I should probably do the other one. The arms are not painted, which I really hate from Mattel, but we're fine, so. And the quills are on the, the like elbows. It's not on the head though, but it's in the movie. And his arms can go like Kenji's, or they can go out like the other Scorpius and can be doing the action. The back is just like the other Scorpius. It has like these ridges 
going all the way down to the tail, and now we're going to go on to the tail. It can. Well, it has, um, it can go all the way around. Its tail can go this way and this way. And then the quills, it's like a bunch of them. Now I'm moving on to the legs. Um, the toenails are not painted. Of course they're not. And then it has like this little like edged part on the back of its, well this. And then its legs, not like the other scorpions, can go like this. Go in. They can go out. And with some of these Mattel dinosaurs, they can, they can like do like a thingy where, they, where their legs go in and out, in and out. And I'm going to compare it to a Stegosaur. And so it's kind of the same size. The other Scorpius is huge. It's like big as um, the, what's it called? The extreme like chomping, I think. Well, the one with the damage. And then as it compared, when it's standing up, it's kind of hard to stand up like on its two legs. So I kind of balance it on its tail. But if you don't have the tail, I guess it does. But it doesn't work for me when I'm blind. And then you can go like this. Just like in the little photo where I got to see it. And then compare it to a raptor. Yeah, well, it's pretty small. And then compare it to um gotta fix that. Okay, so. <laughs> Not the best YouTuber, but maybe sometime it won't be. Oh god. Look, it's falling. Which is good. Not good. That's good. Okay. And compared to a Amber Collection Delta, it's actually pretty big. With it standing up, yeah. It's still pretty big. Okay, let's put this stuff back. And I'm going to compare it to like T Rex, which I got right here. Um, now, the T-Rex compared to this is actually kind of a good size. But the square pieces in the, in the show are um, the same size when they're fighting. But this one is way smaller, and it's actually uh, more green. You can see that. It's a little bit more green. So, yeah, that's um, my video. I might update tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. And that's it for my video. I hope you guys had a good time. Um, comment, I actually don't know if there's a comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.